let's talk about the Grow model. Today, I want to give you a brief overview of what it is and how to use it. Grow is a coaching model that uses a simple acronym relating to goal, reality, options, and either way forward or will. Let's look at these in turn. So, goal is what the client wants to achieve and the specific output of the coaching session. This first stage gives coaching its distinct forward-moving characteristic by enabling the client and coach to be very clear about what they are working to achieve, chunk the goals down into smaller achievable goals, ensure that all actions are geared towards achieving the goals. So begin with the end in mind, as Dr. Stephen Covey would suggest. Ensure that the goals are not in conflict with other goals and develop a compelling future and thus the motivation to take action. Reality. So, the current situation in relation to the goal. This stage gives the client a starting point for moving towards their goal. It enables the client and coach to realize achievements, capabilities, behavior, available resources, and empowering beliefs and feelings, whilst challenging limiting beliefs and feelings. This assists the client to see the situation from an outside-in perspective. The client often then takes actions without thinking about it. So awareness is curative, according to Timothy Galway. This stage also provides the opportunity to review progress during future sessions, creating accountability and identifying new learning and actions. Options. So the different ways the client could achieve the goal. This stage gives the client support and time to think creatively and differently about how they can achieve their goal. This is crucial if the client is going to change behavior and beliefs. It also provides a powerful and lasting experience of creative thinking. If you're adopting an integrated coaching and mentoring approach, you could include your experiences and suggestions at this stage, as long as you make it clear that these are merely options to be thrown into the mix. And if you ask for people's permission to give this mentoring input. Way forward and will. So the specific actions that the client is committed to taking to move towards the goal. To achieve goals, people have to take action, which normally involves tangible and lasting behavior change. During this stage, the coach supports, encourages, and focuses the client to plan and take actions within useful timescales. If you're adopting an integrated coaching and mentoring approach, this stage might also involve you passing on your ideas or experiences to help the client take the actions that they have identified. You can signpost the mentee to external resources, e.g. somebody they can learn from, or broker a useful relationship. So that's an overview of the GROW model. How can you use this in your world?